Greetings and welcome to an EdTech tip from JD and Burbuff Jesuit. Uh, today we're going to look at Google Meets and sharing presentations that include the audio. As many of you have realized, Google Meets has an easy function to share your screen, but that screen sharing does not transmit the audio from your screen. This can be frustrating if you have a narration on a presentation that you want to include, or if the audio from a website is an important part of your lesson. The trick to understanding uh, how to get the audio to transfer through your Google Meet is to understand that you can cast your screen into Google Meets the same way that you can cast a YouTube video onto your TV screen using a Chromecast. But in this case, there's no hardware required, but you do need a little bit of setup. And that's what we're gonna show you how to do in this video. Uh, due to some limitations with sharing a Wii video screen and a screen with Google Meets, I'll be doing a lot of the recording on my phone and showing you the screen as well as doing regular screen shares. So bear with me and let's get started. Okay, to get started, you can see here that I have my Google homepage up and across the top I have an address bar along with a number of extensions that I have already installed. And we're going to do the setup now to make sure that we are ready to cast um, into our Google Meets. The first thing you want to check is to make sure that you are logged in with your school account. This doesn't work very well if your Chrome browser is logged into a personal account. So what we're going to do, if you ever need to double check to make sure you're in your school account, is you click on your menu bar, you go down to settings, and the first thing you see on the settings is you and Google, and under you and Google, it should be your school address. Mine is jdferrisoverbuff.org, so we know that that's correct. The second thing that we're going to do is work with our cast icon to make sure everything is ready for us to cast in. You're going to click on your menu button again, and you're going to scroll down to the word cast. Cast brings up a cast tab, but the interesting thing to notice here is that across your menu bar, right here is the cast symbol. It looks like a TV screen with a Wi-Fi in the corner. From here, you're going to right click and we're going to choose Always Show Icon. This locks that icon up at the top so you can cast at any time from any screen that you want. Then we're going to right click again and we're going to click Enable Cloud Services. Normally the Chromecast, when you click on, is going to show you the different devices that you have on your Wi-Fi network that you are ready to cast into. By clicking on the Enable Cloud Services, it will also look through Google's cloud to see if there are any other places that you can cast. This could include computers at your school that have the Chromecast for Education installed, or as we're going to see, Google Meets. So to recap, make sure that you have your Chrome browser signed into your G Suite account, not a personal account. Open up that Cast tab on your browser, set it to always show the icon, and set it to enable cloud services. Now that we have all of that prep work out of the way, we're going to show you how to cast your tab with audio into Google Meets. Let's get started. Okay, so the process of sharing your Google Chrome tab with Google Meets is about a three-step process. First, we're going to set up an appointment in Google Calendar. Then we are going to open up the tab and cast it. And then we're going to open up the Meet to make sure that it works. So let's start in Google Calendar. On Google Calendar, if you look down here, you'll notice that we have the office hours at the school that are running um, our live help desk. And then down here, you'll see that there's an appointment called Casting with Audio. And when I open that casting with audio, you can see that I've already created it with a Hangouts Meet ready to go. That's the key is you create your appointment with a time and with a Hangouts Meet. That's what puts the information into Google Cloud Services and allows your casting tab to be able to find it. In order to double check that, we're going to go to meet, meet.google.com. And we see there that at 4 p.m. we have this casting with audio assignment. For step two, we're going to open up the media that we want to cast into our meet with audio. So let's go to youtube.com. And once we're in YouTube, I'm going to pull up our default video that we use at Burbuff which is Code Monkey by Jonathan Colton. 
Great thing about Jonathan Colton songs is they all have Creative Commons license. And we're going to queue this up to play. Now here's where the cool part is. We go to the cast tab that we set up earlier and it still has all of the different extensions that we can cast to that are part of my household. But in addition to that, we now have the Google Meets icon with the casting with audio meeting available. When we click that button, we now get the notification that we are casting with audio or we're casting to casting with audio. And up at the tab, you'll see this blue screen. That blue screen indicates that this is a live cast. So from the Chromebook, we see that we have the video that is set up to cast and it is casting right now. When we click over to the Google Meets, we see that we have the casting with audio appointment and we're going to click on that. From the casting with audio appointment, we see that JD Ferris Row is already in this call. And the reason JD is already in the call is because we are casting that screen in there. Now, in order to control this screen, you don't use it from the meeting. You go back to the video window and press play. Code monkey, get up, get coffee. Code monkey, go to job. Code monkey, have boring me. So from here, you could run the audio, the video, just as if you were running a presentation that had audio and everybody would be able to see it, and more importantly, hear the video from the screen that you're casting. When you're ready to be done casting, you can go up to your casting tab, scroll down to where you're casting, and hit stop casting. And that changes it back to a regular video meet. I think that about does it for our tip. I hope that this has been useful for you and that you now feel comfortable being able to put audio with your presentations inside Google Meets. If you have any other questions, comments, or concerns, always feel free to reach out to me on social media. I'm JD Ferris on Twitter, on Instagram, and just about anything else you can find. Thank you and have a great evening.